In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. We uh, gather today to celebrate these Easter mysteries. As we do so, we remember God's love for each and every one of us. We offer our Mass today for Rosalie, whose birthday it is. So, happy birthday, Rosalie. Lord Jesus, you are Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you lead us to the Father. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of God. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us year by year with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, graciously grant that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit through them to reach eternal joy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Once when Peter and John were going up to the temple for the prayers at the ninth hour, it happened that there was a man being carried past. He was a cripple from birth, and they used to put him down every day near the temple entrance called the Beautiful Gate, so that he could beg from the people going in. When this man saw Peter and John on their way into the temple, he begged from them. Both Peter and John looked straight at him and said, Look at us. He turned to them expectantly, hoping to get something from him. But Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but I will give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, walk. Peter then took him by the hand and held him and helped him to stand up. Instantly his feet and ankles became firm. He jumped up and stood and began to walk. And he went with them into the temple, walking and jumping and praising God. Everyone could see him walking and praising God and they recognised him as the man who used to sit begging at the temple gate of the temple. And they were all astonished and unable to explain what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Give thanks to the Lord. Tell his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. O oh, sing to him, sing his praise, tell all his wonderful works. Let the hearts seek the Lord rejoice. Be proud of his holy name. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Consider the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. Let the hearts seek the Lord. O oh, children of Abraham, 
his servant, O sons of the Jacob he chose. He the Lord is our God, his judgments prevail in all the earth. Let the house who seek the Lord rejoice. He remembers his covenant forever, his promise for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath he swore with Isaac. Let the house who seek the Lord rejoice. Alle alleluia, alleluia. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Two of the disciples of Jesus were on their way to a village called Emmaus, seven miles from Jerusalem, and they were talking together about all that had happened. Now as they talked this over, Jesus himself came up and walked by their side, but something prevented them from recognising him. He said to them, what matters are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped short, their faces downcast. Then one of them, called Cleopas, answered him, You must be the only person staying in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have been happening there these last few days. What things? he asked. All about Jesus of Nazareth, they answered, who proved he was a great prophet by the things he said and did in the sight of God and of the whole people. And how our chief priests and our leaders handed him over to be sentenced to death and had him crucified. Our own hope had been that he would be the one to set Israel free. And this is not all. Two whole days have, have gone by since it all happened, and some women from our group have astounded us. They went to the tomb in the early morning, and when they did not find the body, they came back to tell us they had seen a vision of angels who declared he was alive. Some of our friends went to the tomb and found everything exactly as the women had reported, but of him they saw nothing. Then he said to them, You foolish men, so slow to believe the full message of the prophets. Was it not ordained that the Christ should suffer, and so enter into his glory? Then, starting with Moses, and going through all the prophets, he explained to them the passages throughout the scriptures that were about himself. When they drew near to the village to which they were going, he made as if to go on, but they pressed him to stay with them. It is nearly evening, they said, and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. Now while he was with them at table, he took the bread and said the blessing. Then he broke it and handed it to them, and their eyes were opened, and they recognised him. But he had vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Did not our hearts burn within us as he talked to us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? They set out that instant and returned to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven assembled together with their companions, who said to them, Yes, it is true. The Lord has risen and has appeared to Simon. Then they told their story of what had happened on the road and how they had recognised him at the breaking of bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The lovely account of the Emmaus story in today's Gospel is a reminder that there is an encounter with Christ, an encounter with him each day, and we think of these two disciples who were downhearted, discouraged as they were making their way back to Emmaus, thinking that their Saviour and Lord had died upon the cross and that was the end of the story. And yet, he walks with them, he explains to them the scriptures, and they recognise him in the breaking of bread. It's an encounter 
which we are invited to do each day as we gather for the Eucharist. We encounter Christ in the Word of God. We encounter Christ in one another. And we encounter Christ in the breaking of bread. So let us turn to the Lord with our prayers of intercession this day. We pray for the Church and all of God's holy people, that as we walk through these Easter mysteries, we may always recognise Jesus in our midst. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for our world and its many needs, a world troubled by war and conflict, and also in this time of pandemic. We pray for the nations that they may work together to bring about peace and justice. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for ourselves in our journeys of faith, that we may always be encouraged by the risen Christ walking with us in the midst of our lives. Lord, in your mercy, for those who are sick in mind or in body, that they may feel the presence of the healing Christ. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. For those who have died and those whose anniversaries occur at this time, for Yvonne Fowler, whose funeral will take place here later this morning, that they may find eternal rest. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. We ask for the prayers of Mary, Mother of Christ, as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We make these and all our prayers through Jesus Christ, who is Lord for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the Lord Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race, and be pleased to accomplish in us salvation of mind and body, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, 
to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Declan, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. <clears throat> deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
So we make an act of spiritual communion, joining with those who are still unable to come to our masses, maybe joining us today on the live stream and on YouTube. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since many cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into their hearts. We embrace you as if you were there already, and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, we wish Rosalie a very happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rosalie. Happy birthday to you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.